Welcome back to In the Can. Director Miriam Kashavars is here to talk about her film Circumstance, and we also get to chat with the actors Nicole Boucheri, Sarah Kazemi, and Reza Sixo Safai. And I am so sorry if I didn't say all those names beautifully, <laughs> but I, I kept practicing. But thank you. It's fun to have the cast and the director here. So thanks thank you for coming yeah, in. Thanks for having us. So <coughs> tell us about the film Circumstance. Um, Circumstance is about an affluent and liberal Iranian family that. Um, it starts to become torn apart when the brother and sister move in different directions. <laughs> to sum it up briefly, it's right? Very briefly. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, it's more than just, it's the setting, or that those are the characters that help the overlying story. Yeah. From what I've read, that it's really about the, the culture of the youth in Iran today. And that's the overall story that, that you wanted to tell. Um, it's a huge part of it, I think, yeah. because uh, the, the lead characters obviously are very young, and so that's their milieu that they, they work in. But it really is very much about um, the entire family and how they're affected when one person starts to break away and want to do something else. And mm -hmm. in, in this film, he be, starts to become much more conservative. Um, and of course, um, it's also very much about two young women who are finding their voice mm -hmm. and finding um, personal freedom and expression in Iran, and that's very much through the underground art and party scene there. And it's, you know, a universal story of young people trying to express themselves and, and uh, find freedom. Right, so it can relate to everyone who sees it. Yes. Um, and I, just mentioning back in the green room, this is the first film for both of you ladies. Yes. Mm -hmm. What an amazing um, experience. First film and you're here at Sundance. How's it been for you? Ah, uh, it's been crazy. Actually, not only was it my first film, it was the first time I'd flown outside of North America. Oh, wow. And left my family mm -hmm. and my friends. So it's been very intense, yeah. And yeah. being here is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's overwhelming. It's yeah. been a lot of first times for us. Yeah, it's more than one first time for yeah. sure. And I know that the first screening, as we were talking about, <clears throat> seeing yourself on screen has got to be a vulnerable moment, but seeing it with 600 people has got to be a little intimidating. Right. I, I think we annoyed the people in front of us because we were yeah. just like, oh God, oh my God, is this part? Because it was the first time you'd seen the film. Yeah, it was the first time, yes. and like we were crying and laughing, <laughs> and like at one point this lady turned around and she's just like, shh. Right. She's like, I'm in the movie. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I can react. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. First time. <laughs> and how about for you? You've been in films before. I've been in films before, <laughs> and actually, this is my first time at Sundance as an actor. Mm -hmm. I've been here before as a DJ, and oh, really? um, this is kind of a, a dream of mine come true. So I'm like mm -hmm. really happy to be here. Um, and the screening was amazing. You know, we got a standing ovation, and. Um, you know, I'd seen the film before by myself in a screening room to like check the print, which oh. is no one was in LA to do that. And uh, we wear, you wear many hats when it's independent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. And um, and I, with that, you know, like you said, like the 600 people and the concentration of the energy and everyone there, you know, focused on it and then being moved by it and like you know just people laughing and then celebrating it at the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't prepare for that. It's like, it's overwhelming in yeah, a really I cool way. I had some tears, too. I did. And you'd already seen it. I'd already seen it, and yeah. I was crying during the movie. And I think we were all like, just like holding each other so tight. Yeah. And, we, and we had one Kleenex between the yeah. three of us. It was hilarious. That's a tight cast. We started, like, does anyone have a Kleenex? We had one. Yeah. And Rez was like, do you have a Kleenex? I'm like, we have to share. Next time you'll be prepared. Right? It's kind of funny because the film is somewhat of a thriller, and so I could feel the tension. I'm, obviously, I've seen it hundreds of times. Yeah. But, just feeling people's tension, having never, they had never seen it before. Mm -hmm. My body was becoming so tense and so like, mm -hmm. when the film was over and people applauded and I, my body was able to release, I just mm -hmm. was like, wow, that was such an incredible yeah. experience. I felt like I'd run a marathon or something. Really? <laughs> yeah, because I, I could feel the tension in the room and it was mm -hmm. affecting me yeah. incredibly. That's I could great. feel everyone's tension. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know that um, you were part of the lab, the Sundance Lab, and that's, did you get a start on this film during that time? Absolutely. Yeah, um, I wrote the first draft of the script that first went to the Film Independent Producers mm -hmm. Lab, and then right after that I was accepted into the Writers Lab um, okay. here in the winter of 2007. And and then later on that summer I went to the Directors Lab, and I spent the summer here. So oh, I got wow. to see like the full season. Yeah. But it was amazing, I'm, and then later to the um, 
I also went to the um, composer's lab. So basically got to work with mentors in every part from, of the field, from you know, direct, mm -hmm. cinematography to writing to directing mm -hmm. to music. And I had the best mentors in the world in each of those fields. That's so, great. I mean, and That's they, what Sundance loves, to have um, you know, someone who started in the lab, gained the funding, which maybe we yeah. should talk about, because I know that you had some interesting stories of how you actually funded this film, and then be here. At Sundance, to amazing, the and it's just such a support system. It's a it's a community. They don't just you know you don't just come for a week and leave. Mm -hmm. It's like a lifetime community. That's great. And the mentors and the people that I went to that were in the lab with me, they you know we came they came to my screenings and gave feedback and continued to support the film from every part of the process from casting, rewriting to casting mm -hmm. to the post production. And it's amazing to be able yeah. to come back here and share it with them. And I, I read that you shot the film in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why did you why did you do that and, and not in Iran? Um, well, first of all, we were shooting right after the elections. Originally, we were hoping to shoot the exteriors in Iran and then the interior somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But that was going to be impossible with, with sort of like a revolution happening there. Um, and Lebanon is much, much more liberal. It's one of the more liberal places in the Middle East. Although it was very difficult to shoot there also. Yeah, I was going to um, say, logistic-wise, it would seem it was a little difficult, um, but we had partners, we had international partners, we had a French partner, we had a local Lebanese partner. I spent s over six months just doing research on who to work with, wow. and again using the Sundance mentors, you know, yeah. Ziad Douar had been a mentor, he's a big Lebanese director. Mm. He introduced me to everyone who works in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. So it's all about creating the right team and people yeah. who have a tough stomach for <laughs> adversity. Yeah. And we were all on the same page from the grip mm -hmm. to the actors mm -hmm. to the producers, and we all believed in this, and we were wanting to do it no matter what, yeah. and do it in a, in a safe way, mm -hmm. the most safe way that we could. Yeah. And so um, it was hard, yeah. uh, but we did it, and Lebanon is a very inspiring place. Mm -hmm. It's not at all what I even had thought, mm -hmm. being someone who's from the Middle East, my mm -hmm. parents are Iranian, and I go back and forth between Iran and the U.S., but it, it's, it's a, quite a mix of like, very liberal, mm -hmm. very cosmopolitan, yeah. European, and very, you know, more restrictive yeah. in the Middle Eastern. What about this process for you as <laughs> actors? I mean, obviously you were drawn to the script, inspired by it. Um, what was it that, and any of you can answer this, that really drew you to working with her and taking on this story, particularly for your first roles? Mm -hmm. what, what, what was it that really grasped you? Anything that you related to in your personal life, or was this a total departure from your normal life so you were able to really jump in and explore something new? Well, to be honest, this was the first film script I had read. That you've ever read? Yes. Wow. That was like, that I was going to be auditioning for. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I just really related to Atifa, I think. I loved her so much. Oh, wow. And I think I saw a lot of myself, not maybe me today, but mm -hmm. a lot of who I was mm -hmm. when I was you know, still in high school and in my teens. And I kind of imagined that maybe I would be a lot like her if I lived where she did. You're right. And for any of you, go ahead. Yeah, well, I, I loved, um, <clears throat> you know, what the, I played this character, Maron, Atifa's mm -hmm. brother. Mm -hmm. And um, I just loved, you know, all I had to, um, you know, to play this part, like what I had to go through. And um, there's a lot of challenges to this character. I'm, I'm the, you know, the bad guy, mm -hmm. so to speak, in the movie. but. I, I think those parts are always the, the most fun to play, um, but it was also the way she, you know Mariam wrote it was like there was a lot of room for you know huma bringing humanity to that character, mm -hmm. and to me that was like a really great challenge you know because like, you know it could be a cliche to play you know a drug addict and you know this like religious fanatic and I think those are two hard things to do on their mm -hmm. own, mm -hmm. and then to have to do them together and you know make them vulnerable I just you know there was this. There was a big mountain to climb, and um, and the script honestly scared me, and, really? uh, and that's how I knew I had to do it. Mm. <laughs> when you know, have that sense yeah. of fear, yeah. and we auditioned. I mean, for all the roles, we auditioned <coughs> over, you know, probably over a thousand people, yeah. and. For Reza in particular, you know, when people read a, a character like that, as you say, like the antagonist or the mm -hmm. villain, you can play it on one level. But what I loved about Reza is that he, it, it really is about, there is no bad guy in the film. Everyone is struggling to find out who they are. Everyone is struggling to do the best that they can. And making mistakes. And make mistakes. And he's 
so human and vulnerable and you just at some point you just want to reach out and be like it's okay mm -hmm. and he was able to bring that vulnerability and I, I saw that in the audition and I, I liked his interpretation That's right great. off the bat. Well thank you all for coming in thank and talking you. about this Thanks. wonderful film. We're going to actually um, leave off of this interview with a quick clip. Tell us what we're going to see. Um, <laughs> the clip is of Atifa <coughs> and Shireen and they are dreaming about, they're, 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 it's very much about their dreams of escaping Iran and finding freedom. All right, so here's a look at Circumstance. Thank you all for coming in. Thanks we so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank so you. take a look.